see, we can now venture onward, my steadfast companion. But first, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me a while. Oh, they're so adorable. Look, this is why Pothead is my best friend. Because we just sit and chill for a bit when we've had a hard day. And Pothead gets it, man. As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. This strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe by, for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended years. I desire not but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my former handsome self. Oh, Pothead, you're handsome just the way you are. Don't let anybody tell you different. I mean, the... The stick sticking out of your neck is a little strange, but other than that, you look great, dude. Well, thank you, but you do know that I was quite a looker back in my day. <laughs> Care for some soup? Uh, Pothead, that spoon has a hole in it. Never mind. I, I don't... Can he see? I don't know if he can even see. <laughs> I guess we don't want any soup. No? So be it! Let us push forward once more! Oh, look at this guy! Boy, isn't he just the, the most handsomest person ever. Well, I, I'm coming this way, so... Uh, big guy, you and I, I'm assuming, are gonna have to fight. I really don't want to, because he looks big and strong. And I am just tiny little bird. I don't want to fight. I just want to be friends. But they don't ever want to be my friend. Are you... Oh, well, that kind of hurt. Dang, they're getting faster. I, I just... I have to make sure that I kind of... What the? I rolled! I, you can clearly see that I rolled. I rolled. I have an idea. If I roll at them, I feel like... Wait, did I break it? You're not... You're not hitting me anymore. You're just hitting at me now. Can you not see? Oh, was I being dumb and just standing up in your face? Boy, do I feel silly now. Well, that could have been way easier if I had just learned that they can't see anything and I should just have to stay out of whapping distance and I would be perfectly fine. Oops. Oh, yes. Look at these. So cool. Little stabby swords! I found some rogue daggers. These blades can speedily inflict damage to an opponent. Death by a thousand cuts, if you will. You can equip it from the weapons menu. And I will do that. Because I love a good stabby sword. Yeah, look how fast I am now. Ho there, friend! Well, oh, <laughs> He look, he's up on the statue. I actually didn't see him for there for a second. Because he looks just like the other one. I would make a good statue, would I not? <laughs> you would. A, the most gorgeous statue, Pothead, I'm sure. So, here we are. This edifice may look unassuming. Even be calming. However... Keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Now let us dive from the precipice of adventure and enter the belly of the beast. <laughs> Together. Okay, yeah, you go that way. I have more things to do out here in the garden. So even though we're supposed to be together, uh, we're not actually going to do this together. At least not right in the beginning. I have uh, plans and uh, things to do. Anyway, let's go see what Pothead's up to, because I apparently was wasting a lot of time. Pothead, my guy, what's up? You go on ahead. I'll guard the door. Oh, oh, it's a shield. Actually, that's kind of clever. Okay, Pothead, I got the door. We got this. Oh, you, wow. Okay, cool. They're keys. That makes sense. 
Uh, everything around here is pot related. Let's open up this door because this is a spawn point. Why do these keep coming back? I never understand why those keep coming back. Because the other ones kept coming back too, but I thought it was because I was doing a secret the wrong way. You know, like I tend to do all the time. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? Yes, most certainly I will. And I'm probably going with... Oh, no. Now that I have the stabby sword, speed and precision, racing this will allow the Reaper to charge their melee and range attacks faster and increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. Oh, the stabby swords and dexterity might be amazing. Haste would be pretty good, too. Let's do dexterity. I'm... I am going the rogue route now because the stabby swords are just amazing. And look how much faster I can chain those together. I don't know if that's faster or not, if I'm being honest. Where? Oh, down here. Okay. The shooting mechanic is it's wonderful. Don't get me wrong. But the, the aiming of the shooting mechanic is a little wonky, a little side. This is a boss fight. Holy crap. What are you? Oh, well, now aren't you the easiest thing ever do i need my sword or what oh i have to hit the front of it can i now hit you oh nope stop okay stop it ah, no oh, it's a big mouth so it's trying to bite me oh that's a nose on its head i thought that was its eyes no its eyes are wait no maybe that could it still could be its eyes maybe it's not actually a nose kind of thing no bad no chomping me i don't taste good I've been running around constantly, which is like disgusting crow sweat. So, ooh, I can hit that back. I, I can. Yes. So anything glowy, which I'm glad it kind of taught me that. Just stop. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> there. Oh, this is a weird angle. Oh, at least it throws its head back, though, because if it didn't, I would be so screwed at trying to figure that one out. How close to death are you? Look, you're like shattered into pieces. Oh, that close. Uh, in fact, that close is the correct answer. Cool. That was a pretty decent boss fight. I am, there's too many things. I am finding myself really distracted. What are you? Free the soul. It appears we have been abandoned here. I don't think anyone is coming to open the door no unfortunately not i did though i came i'll open the door oh that's what it meant by souls i need four of them got it well i know what i'm doing now i'm going to run around and find my these souls so boss fights and souls got it hi aren't you the just uh most gorgeous person ever you got some big eyes has anybody told you how big your eyes were i'm sure they have <laughs> hello dear quite unexpected to see a crow around these parts yes have you seen my eyes they're very big does this mean the deal is off what brings an adorable fellow like you into my house uh I mean, I I don't know if I should attack her or not. I'm going to assume not, and I'm just going to walk away. I'm uh, just casually going <laughs> to... Oh, your uh, giant eyes follow me. <laughs> oh, boy. G Granny, what big eyes do you have? Okay, thank you. I'm going to just... I'm gonna go this way. Bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought I goofed. Nope, it's fine. I just, I was, I meant to fall down there apparently. Hey, Pothead, what's up? Dude. Huh. This door looks rather out of place. As if it were from another world. It actually looks like you, big face. <laughs> Is this a reaper door? You have to tell me if it's a reaper door. Though perhaps a trifle more imposing. Hey, I can be imposing. Look at me. <laughs> I am fear. I am death. Fear me. Okay, maybe not. But I, I, I can try to be imposing. That door, what does that door have over me? Just because it's 
bigger. I'm going to grow up one day. You know that, right? I'm going to be a giant. Oh, no, no, no. That's an exploding one, right? Yeah. Exploding one with feet. That's not fun. I'm not going to eat the flower, even though I have a sneaky suspicion this is going to be another one of these guys. Oh, no. You brought friends? Stop. You're kidding. Ow. I already got hit. Dang, guys, just get out of my way. Ha ha, hit it in the tongue, because apparently that's the only place it's vulnerable. I guess everything is vulnerable in the tongue? That makes sense. If, if I were to stab something in the tongue, it probably would get hurt a lot. I broke it! Sweet! I just have to beat this one little dude! So let's just sit back here and shoot it in the face! Ah. Okay, now that the panic is gone, now I can focus again. Hello, I freed your friend, so now who are you? She said I would live forever, but with a pot for a head. No, thank you. <laughs> I know, right? Have you seen some of the other? Although pothead looks pretty good with a pot for a head. So you might get lucky and get like the most beautiful pot for a head. <laughs> oh, oh, heavens! My house is a mess! What happened? My beautiful urns! They've been shattered! <laughs> I mean, I must apologize for the state of the house, dearie. I wasn't expecting guests, you see. I can kind of tell. I, I think I'm here to reap your soul, but... I don't want to fight you just yet. <laughs> I'm going to... The, the granny really kind of worries me a little bit. Stop it! Oh, cool. That worked. That also worked. Oh, I missed! I missed! I hit the wrong thing! Well, that's okay. <laughs> because it worked out in the end. It really did. Oh, here we go. Another seed and another boss fight. Wait a second. There's another room back. Uh, never mind. I have to go out this way anyway. So I'll go this way. Uh oh. Do not spawn right on top of me. Thanks. Really appreciate the not doing the thing I just said part. Where you totally ignored me and did the thing I just said not to do. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. Well, now I really have to be careful. Actually, not that careful. Run. <laughs> that would have been the most embarrassing way to die. Yes. And uh, trust me, we've been through a lot of embarrassing ways to die, haven't we? <laughs> I almost topped at that one where, you know, I unalive everything and get unalive by a stray bullet right at the end. Here, I'm going to free you another one of my little friends. I'm starting to question the authority of our Lord of Doors. Although it might be a bit late given that I am now deceased. Oh, oh, they were stuck here because they're reapers. They died because they couldn't get back to where we reapers are supposed to go. And they're stuck here because no reaper came to reap their soul. I'm actually helping them move on to the afterlife. That makes me feel way better about the whole situation. I'm doing a good thing. I'm the good guy. I think. Oh, goodness. You're not the cause of all this ruckus now, are you? <laughs> are you? I would not be very hospitable to any beast who would mistreat my children. Tread lightly, Reaper. I most certainly will tread lightly. You have no proof. I, I will not stand by and take witness to these horrible horrible accusations of all of this horrible things that someone uh who is definitely not me has done <laughs> get out of here we are totally wrecking this person's house why do i feel like this may or may not be a big boss fight hi can i talk to you shall we done I mean, I, uh, I'm, great, I'm good at dancing if you wanted to dance, but that's not dancing. You are just spinning wildly and hitting me in the face. Stop doing this. Man. Run, 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 run. 
Oh, I should probably run in a direction that isn't directly away from them. Now, shouldn't I? Oh. Well, that was simple. Cool. That was kind of almost easy. Now, where can I plant this seed? Because I need health. A lot of health. Health would be good. Oh, is this not a boss fight? Oh, it's just my friend. Okay, hello, friend. Why did the door close? How can we get back? I... I'm sorry, you can't. But you can go through the door. There you go. Now you, you've gone back, I think. Or at least as far back as you can go now. Sat up here and withered away to nothing. It's a very sad existence, really. Well now, little crow. You have well and truly outstayed your welcome. First, you lead my daft grandson astray, filling their head with this nonsense uh, ideas about curses. And then you come in here and smash up all my beautiful urns. Who's your grandson? Who have I been leading astray with curses? I haven't talked at all, so how can I lead anybody astray? I'm just trying to help people, you see. If you set foot in my basement, there will be consequences. There's a basement? I was unaware there was a basement until you said there was a basement. Now I'm going to go into your basement. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. I might even have words with your employer. Although I'd rather not see that old weirdo again. I mean, a lock for a head. So strange. <laughs> Off with you, little crow. A lock for a head? You're turning people's heads into urns. So a lock for a head is not the worst thing I've seen. Hi, Pothead. Are you just as excited about whatever this door is as I am? I think you are. I know I am. A glow with unearthly light. Is it unlocked? If only I had a more complete understanding of how doors work. <laughs> Before you proceed, big face, I have a confession to make. The old witch of this house, she is my grandmother. She cursed me with the ceramic cranium in a misguided effort to make me immortal. She's her grandmother. <laughs> Dang. Okay, well, Pothead, does that change things or what? You see, she was stricken with grief when my grandfather passed and made it her mission to keep her whole family alive forever. Her research led her to believe that replacing one's head with an urn would somehow strike you from death's ledgers. However, I resisted, and during the struggle, her spell must have gone awry. For as you can see, I do not have an urn for a head. I have a pot for a head. I fear she has gone too far behind, beyond her years, and her soul has swollen and grown corrupted. I have seen it happen in this land many times. As a reaper, I implore you to end her suffering and bring her soul into the next life. Perhaps she can find peace once again. I'd be more than happy to, Pothead. I, I totally respect what you're doing. Even though she's your grandmother, you understand that that's an unnatural life. And you just want her to have peace. But unfortunately, we're going to have to do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And remember to take care. And goodbye!